Hello, I'm Richard Dedomenici. My work often straddles the worlds of high art and low-grade civil disobedience. I like to work in grey areas. Alright, okay, so I, I, I see. It's, uh, it's actually a homemade tool. Yeah. Very interesting. Lovely, that was great. Um, she touched her and it was all kind of flaccid. Yeah, I must be getting touched. So, so there are some more people I would like to welcome to the stage. Now, since on the date of the 20th of December. Recently, I've become disillusioned with traditional forms of mass protest. It would be churlish to suggest that popular resistance can't lead to revolution. But having been on my fair share of demos, I've come to realise that a lot of the old tools of dissent no longer work. After all, a demonstration is only as successful as the attention it receives. The authorities know how to downplay them, and the media often take notice only when protests turn ugly. As the iconography of resistance is imitated purely for profit, and protesting near Parliament is criminalised, the proliferation of images has become overwhelming. And waving a placard in someone's face is increasingly unlikely to get them on side. Sure, you can redesign the protest banner, but that's merely akin to rearranging deck chairs. We need a profound new paradigm, an alternative model of dissent, one that creates the kind of uncertainty that leads to possibility. Since I can remember, I've made work with balloons. They're inexpensive, portable, impactful. Yeah, I'm just gonna give them out over here, so come with me. Whilst handing out helium-filled balloons with Board of Shopping printed on them, at the launch of major privately managed shopping malls around the UK. I got some little scissors on that. I got a go. no. yeah, I was surprised and impressed by people's willingness to accept balloons displaying subversive messages. Can I take two? Yeah. And the authorities' unwillingness to confiscate them. Although not always. Yeah, sure. Oh. Hang on, sir, they're, they're attached to my finger. Waving a banner at someone may no longer work, but giving them a free balloon might. Sure, there you go. Oh no, they burst that lady's balloon. Yes. Free balloon, sir? Yes. Madam, here you go, take a string. Board of art is a very good idea. There you go, you're welcome. Have a good Thank day. You. See you later. Few people will turn down a free helium balloon. Hi. I'm like balloon Jesus. <laughs> I'm not Banksy. <laughs> and fewer police will confiscate them. Therefore, it's a great way to spread revolutionary messages. <laughs> For Hidden Civil War, I've collected subversive, revolutionary, political and anarchic slogan ideas in Newcastle. If you could write something on a balloon that would change the world, what state what would you write? What would you write? People will take a balloon, no matter what's written on it. Sure. Almost, almost, within reason. <laughs> I'm not sure what the upper limit is yet. And on social media. Over 150 in total, which we've boiled down to our favourite 11. Thousands of which will be disseminated over the next month. Burst the economic bubble. Drone magnet, don't worry, it's a safe privatised space. This is privatised space. This is should go back to where they come from. from. My Marxist feminist dialects brings all the boys to the ass. <laughs> no more petitions, abolish politicians. Abolish, not demolish. Pretty sure they demolish. No, no, you've inhaled too much helium. It doesn't actually contain hydrogen, don't worry. This is it. Slogans are not enough. This is a protest. This balloon is making me political. Bravo! By extrapolating the popularity of these slogans, we hope to ensure the development of increasingly potent messages with the power to change minds, alter behaviour, shift paradigms and transform societies. Art can change the world. Or at least it can change the people that change the world. And that's you!